Hello, welcome to another video with Indicator Vault. My name is Ronald and in this video we're going to go over the order block gen you can see up here, uh, you know, order block generator. And if you're familiar with order blocks, they can act as uh, essentially kind of like a supply and demand. Uh, they vary a little bit from supply and demand, you know, uh, as far as the details and everything, but you know, as far as how you trade from them and how you view them with price action, they are essentially the same. You have your bearish order blocks and your bullish order blocks. And so, you know, we can see here the indicator is marked out a bearish one. Price fell, wicked back up just barely into it. You know, this last up candle is marked out and then continues down. And we can see it has, you know, an S for the sell, B for the buy, for the bullish ones. But let's uh, let's get into how to use some of this into your trading. And it's not really too difficult. Um, you can start on the higher time frame. This is just for this example on the Australian dollar, US dollar, four hour chart. So we're going to start on. And, you know, I'm always a big fan of, you know, refining to the smaller time frame. So if you start on the four hour, work your way down to the one hour, 15, five minute, you know, so on and so forth. And this indicator will, uh, you know, work on every time frame. And so here with the four hour, we've got the bullish order block formed with this down candle price shoots up to validate it and we've got it just touching just barely wicking below the open um, if i'm eyeballing it looks like it went to about the close or excuse me the open of this candle and while it has not continued up this is giving great signs of bullish momentum we've already seen it break this high so now it's just retracing to the order block. So as we go down to the one hour, this is a way I would personally use some of this. And so you've marked out your four hour, your higher time frame uh, order block as far as the high. Again, when you know when you change the time frame that higher time frame one won't stay in your chart and so something just as simple as marking out the high or maybe the open and close you know the or the 50 percent mark of the zone would be important but what i want to point out in this example here and while we're still watching it play out look at the reaction that we have as we've marked out our four hour zone now at the one hour, we've now seen another order block form right as we are touching the higher time frame zone. And so that is a great confirmation, you know, as we see it go up, it's retraced. And now we're getting a great reaction up again. We may see another little bit of a retracement down before continuing up. But that's just one simple way to view this as far as a top-down analysis of time frames. Now, once you've done that, I'm actually going to go into the five minute here, but I wanted to give a thorough rundown of just how to use these, that it's not just random uh, you know, zones we're trading from. Let me first go to the four hour and show you that yes, we are in a big downtrend. However, to use this at the moment, it price is not touching any bearish order block. We don't have any bearish ones forming in the near term. The only one that's in play right now is this bullish one. So using this indicator, you know, after seeing it touch the four, we're now thinking, okay, let's look for some buys. So that's when we refine it to the one hour. But let's see if we do the same thing that we just did. If 
from the four hour to the one hour. Let's go from the one hour to the five minute. And of course, you, we can see a number of order blocks are forming. But let's break down how we could have even gotten into this trade. Let's say you just went straight from the four hour to the five minute. Well, look what you've got here. You have price touching the four hour zone. And then look, a five minute, I mean, right after it touches the four hour zone. We now get a five minute bullish order block forming. Price shoots up, retraces back into it, and a huge move up today. This right here, I believe, is about over 50 pips. You know, if you, it's probably about a 10 pip stop loss or so. That's a five hour trade. Super simple. Four hour zone, go to the five minute, and so on. But, you know, let's say you want to refine again on the one hour. You got price coming down, forms a order block, and what does it do? Doesn't quite trade below it. If you accounted for spread and put your stop below here, a couple pips, you would have been fine. It at least creates a new higher high. Now, there's a lot of consolidation going on, but again, we have multiple higher time frame confluences uh, to look for some buys. We do have this example here, this big zone form that created this new higher high. Price has traded back into it and so far given a good reaction up. We can see if it'll break this sell one. So that's just sort of how you trade in the zone of these order blocks. You refine, you, you know, here in the one hour as price dips into it, maybe you wanted to wait for a deeper retracement, which is totally fine. We can see it even actually comes back into this one just barely again before flying up. If you miss that, that's totally fine. You know, even just eyeballing it looks like a little bit of a deeper retracement, but it does reach the 70.5 to then shoot back up. And another great way to uh, incorporate some other indicators is our logic trend line. I found the logic trend line, as it draws these trend lines, you will find many, you know, just for instance, if it was drawn here, you will find many times order blocks will form on the second touch of the trend line. It will go up, retrace, and continue up. But before we end this video, let's find one more example. So here we have the Euro Australian dollar one hour chart and basically the same thing. We have a bullish order block forming. Price has reacted from it. So this is the most recent and the only one price is uh, last touch. So we're looking for buys. So I've marked out the high of this zone here. Go to the five minute and what do we see? This is where the zone was marked. Price is broken above it. Comes back down into this order block that was formed right at the top of the one hour zone. And we just see the pattern repeat. This would have been the best entry with the confluences. We see the second bullish order block form right on the top of the one hour zone. Comes up, retraces just to the one hour zone into the five minute order block and then continues up for quite a while. And so you could even just ride this out on a lower time frame on these. Just keep playing off of these five minute bullish order blocks until you see. 
you know, a higher time frame bearish order block get hit. So until it hits the bearish order block, uh, you know, this is probably going to keep going up. You know, one way to also view these, not necessarily as far as the technical analysis, but these order blocks, they are high volume areas. And so price likes to gravitate towards uh, high volume areas. It likes to consolidate and accumulate more orders around these zones. And so they can also be used as great uh, take profit levels. You, you know, like I just mentioned, if you're riding the five minute bullish order blocks all the way up until a higher time frame uh, order block, you know, that's a great strategy there as well because, you know, the probabilities of it gravitating more and more to the next order block, you know, is very likely because like I said, that's where price wants to go to. It wants to go to where it's most traded. And let me just bring up real quick the uh, settings. You know, there's a number of different ways to change and alter how you view it. The one I will point out or the two I'll point out the candles around high or low. The lower this number is, the more it'll, the zones it'll generate. So the higher it, it is, the less it will generate. So if you want more just high probability ones, you can raise the number up some. And then, of course, the minimum zone bar count as far as how many candles you want included into the zone. And so the higher that number is, the wider your zones will be. So the default settings are two and seven, which I think are great. They work wonderful. You know, if you wanted to raise this up just a couple, you know, that would work great as well. So just depending on how you uh, would prefer to trade these order blocks. So I hope this video was helpful. And until next time, best of luck trading.